Now we're going to measure uh, the force again versus acceleration, but in a slightly different way. So here I have attached uh, the spring to the force probe, and I have a little paper clip on the other end of the spring. So what I'm going to do is hang this. So I'm just going to start by tilting the camera upward, and I'm just going to clip this paper clip onto this book that I have on my bookshelf. There we go. All right, so now let us get this thing going up and down sort of smoothly. And it's not very smooth, it's jiggling a little bit, but that'll be all right. So I'm going to measure acceleration and I'm going to measure force. And I forgot to turn the device on, that's never good. All right, so let's try this again. Get this thing going up and down. All right, let's do it a little smoother. Perfect. All right, so now let's say record. So now what you're seeing, apart from little wiggles, because I'm not very good at making it go up and down smoothly, we're seeing acceleration versus force in these two plots. And indeed, as this thing oscillates up and down, you're seeing simple harmonic motion. It's very nice. You're seeing the force changing in the same exact way, which of course it needs to. And so uh, let me stop this and we can do a slight analysis of this. So what we're actually kind of interested in here is seeing how the acceleration is related to the force because we do believe in Newton's second law. And so uh, we can certainly see that they have the same shape, but the parametric plot feature allows us to do a lot more. So we're going to look at the acceleration in the y direction and the force in the y direction. And we're just going to look at that over a big region. And we see that the acceleration and the force are linearly related. So of course, the slope of this line is given by the mass of the device. Very nice.